If you want to win back your husband or wife, then this is for you. If you're thinking, you don't understand, my marriage is too far gone, they're too angry, they're too disconnected, it's absolutely hopeless, then I'm gonna tell you I disagree. I don't believe that any marriage is absolutely hopeless. And I believe that most marriages can be saved even if it seems absolutely impossible right now. Why do I believe this? My name is Kimberly Holmes. I'm the CEO at Marriage Helper. And over the past 20 years, Marriage Helper and the team that we have here has worked with over 250,000 people that have gone through our courses, our seminars, and our trainings. And we have seen 77% of marriages that we work with in our workshops saved. We've seen the craziest situations saved. We've seen the most disconnected spouses saved. The ones that were only coming to our workshop for the divorce papers to be signed, for only for co-parenting, only for last ditch efforts, saved. So even though you might feel like it's impossible, I believe that there's hope. And in this video, I wanna share with you a couple of quick things that you can start doing, that you can start implementing, that can hopefully lead you towards bringing your spouse back. Here's the thing, this stuff really does work. I've seen it work thousands of times with thousands of people in thousands of different situations. But here's the thing, it's not a guarantee. I'm not going to be one of those people that has this, here's the one phrase you need to say for your spouse to come running back into your arms and lusting after you for the rest of your life. That is not this video. No, it's not any false guarantee, but it is a guarantee that if anything can work to get your spouse to start coming back to you, then this will, and this can. And I'm excited to share that with you today. So the first thing that you can do in this situation is you want to soften. Soften? What in the world does that mean? Here's what that means. In our minds, as you probably know, our mind is really the most important part of our body. It's the most powerful part of our body because whatever we're thinking about, whatever we believe, whatever we're ruminating on in our thoughts, change everything else about us. They can change our body language, they can change our tone of voice, the words we say, the actions that we have, all because of what we are thinking about. And so if right now you're thinking about how angry you are at your husband or wife, or you're thinking of how hurt you are, or you're thinking of how much you just can't believe that this happened, and, and or maybe you're thinking of how guilty you feel, you feel like maybe you should have been able to do something to stop this from happening, all of those things are gonna affect you. They're going to affect your actions, your reactions, your interactions that you have with your husband or your wife. And a lot of those things can make us angry. They can make us more emotional. Now, I'm not saying you shouldn't have these emotions. It is okay to be hurt, to be angry, to be sad. But when you let those things start controlling everything about you, then it can absolutely affect the way that you interact with your spouse. You can get to a point where you just start pushing them away by the actions that you have, by, by yelling at them all the time, by attacking them every chance you get of telling them how you can't believe they're, they're disconnected from you or they're treating you this way or whatever it might be. And it can inadvertently continue to push them away. Or maybe it's the opposite where you are so upset, you're so hurt, you're so you're in so much pain because of what they're done that every interaction you have with your spouse is you crying or moping or or doing something to try and elicit them to come back, to try and get their attention enough to come back. But what it's doing is pushing them further away. So I'm not saying you shouldn't have these feelings, but I'm saying you need to deal with them in a way that's healthy to deal with them. And you want to soften your feelings that you have about your husband or about your wife so that you can clear up your mind in order to have positive communication with them. Another thing you want to do is be able to forgive what has happened. Maybe if your spouse has had an affair or if they've lied to you about something or if there's been an addiction going on, you, it can be very easy to hold that grudge against your spouse. It can be very easy to use those things as ammunition against your spouse because you feel like you have gotten the short end of the stick. 
But if you continue to bring those things up, if you continue to hold those grudges, if you continue to throw things back in your spouse's face that they've done, then it's going to continue to push them further away. Instead, you want to forgive. You want to be willing to forgive. You also don't want to pursue your spouse. What does that mean? You don't want to chase them. You don't want to beg. You don't want to whine. You don't want to plead. You don't want to cry. You don't want to do those things to try and get them to stay that are going to actually end up pushing them away. No one wants to be begged after. We all want to be pursued in a healthy way, but when we feel like someone's trying to suffocate us, that they're trying to cage us in, that they're trying to keep us there, then no one likes feeling controlled in that way. Instead of pursuing, you want to work on you. At Marriage Helper, we have something called the pies that we talk about all the time. Working on yourself physically, intellectually, emotionally, and spiritually. And those are the things that you want to start doing during this time. Subscribe to our YouTube channel because we have a ton of videos that talk about pies and how you can attract your spouse back to you. And that's the best way that you can make the best use of your time during this time of trying to win back your husband or your wife. And lastly, you don't want to give up. You're going to experience two steps forward and one step back during this whole process of trying to win your spouse back. You might feel some days like it is absolutely impossible and you may feel other days like you've seen some progress. But ultimately, no matter if it's going well or if it's going really bad, you want to stay the course and don't give up. At Marriage Helper, we can absolutely help you learn more about all of these things. In this video, I've really only just touched on the absolute surface of all of the things that you should do in order to win back your husband or your wife. Search through more of our articles on marriagehelper.com. You'll be able to learn so much more about this, but be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and search our videos. Watch more of those. We have so many videos that I'm sure are gonna talk about your specific situation. But if you want, if you don't see anything about your situation or you're wanting more guidance right now, comment below. What is something you're needing help with to win back your husband or to win back your wife? And how can we help you with that?